Thanks for tuning in to Biohackly. In this video, I'm going to show you how I set up my longevity ozone generator for rectal insufflation, sometimes called intestinal insufflation. This video is for informational purposes only and is not intended to be medical advice. Please seek advice from your medical doctor before you try anything like this at home. All right, let's get started. On the left-hand side here, you can see I have an oxygen tank from Longevity Resources. This is an industrial oxygen tank, and I have food-grade oxygen in it. Up top here, I have the gold standard of oxygen regulators. This oxygen regulator, also made by Longevity Resources, is a very, very high-end, high-quality regulator. It's in the $200 range, but if you're buying a cheap regulator, you know, under $100 or just over $100, you're not going to have as accurate a regulator in other words when I turn this on to 1 8 I know for a fact I'm gonna get 1 8 flow and also it's very well manufactured so this is gonna outlast any cheap regulator by a long shot considering I'm gonna be doing these rectal insufflations probably the rest of my life and and probably every almost every day I want to make sure that I got a good regulator these regulators this one and here's another one from longevity resources here this is a uh, the green one is also a very high quality and um, well manufactured oxygen regulator these regulators will work on any industrial or food grade oxygen tank and they'll also work with any ozone generator. So on the right hand side here is my ozone generator. I'll just turn that on. That's from Longevity Resources. The reason that I chose Longevity Resources is when I started learning more about ozone and I started watching a lot of videos on YouTube and I watch a lot of Dr. Robert Rowan's videos which are really fantastic testimonials and he's always suggesting to get a hold of Longevity Resources and uh, recommending their ozone generators. Dr. Gary Gordon, another um, fantastic doctor out there, is always recommending Longevity Resources and also Dr. Frank Schellenberger. So I thought at that point it's it's got to be a company that I got to look into. So I started doing a little more homework on Longevity Resources and they are a pretty amazing company. They actually donated 40000 around $40,000 worth of ozone generators to a hospital in Sierra Leone when Dr. Robert Rowan went over there to try and help with the Ebola breakout. So these guys are very kind people. I mean, the other thing is that when they shipped everything over, they actually used 100% biodegradable peanuts. So they're very environmentally conscious as well. And also when I called them, well, I emailed them first of all and inquired and then I spoke to them. Just fantastic people. So to me, people are more important than anything in the world. So if you find great people to deal with, it's, it's worth it. So I recommend Longevity Resources as well now. This is their newest machine. It's called the uh, EXT120T Ultra, and it is an all digital machine uh, based on NEOS technology. You can see on the right hand side we have the flow meter, and here we have the timer. For the timer, it's on seconds mode right now. I usually use 50 seconds right now. I've only been doing the insufflations for a couple of weeks. But if I switch the mode to minutes, you'll see it goes to 17 minutes. That's because I also use the same setup for my ozone sauna and I run it at 17 minutes so it's actually kind of cool that it remembers everything and then I go back to 50 and as soon as it runs down to zero and turns the machine off it'll go back and be ready for me to do it again so next time I start it it's gonna start at 50 seconds so I'm using four on the um, flow there and I'll show you why if I look at this longevity chart here and I go to the um, the flow up here at four which is again what I have it set for right here and then I'm gonna set my oxygen regulator at 1 8 which is going to come in at about 20.8 gamma. So that's what I'm using right now and I'm running it for 50 seconds to fill up the bag. This is what the um, the ozone um, rectal insufflation bag looks like. This one actually says ozonegenerator.com on it which again is Longevity's website and it has a clear tube that goes to a valve. You can see the valve is open right now. Once it's full of ozone I'm going to want to close that valve and it has a lure lock on the end. There's two different ways of connecting that up. And by the way, this, this chart that I just showed you is actually on the top of the machine as well, so you never have to worry about losing this. The same chart's right here on top. So to get started, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the uh, oxygen tank clear hose to the input oxygen clear hose going into the ozone generator. And that just kind of slides together. It's a nice firm fit. You can see the output line here is a silicone um, ozone output right here. There's two different ways that I can use the output to fill the bag. One of them is with a lure lock valve, which is right here. So this lure lock valve would take the input from the ozone here, and when it's in this position here, it'll actually go straight through 
and connect to this ozone destruct unit, which I'm going to hook it up to right now. And I'll actually hook this one up here. And now you can see what happens is the ozone is going to come out here. It's going to go straight through the valve and to the destruct unit, which is going to convert it back to oxygen. Now what I'm going to want to do is take this bag with the lure lock and connect it to the bottom of the valve. And the reason that I do this is because you don't want to have any back pressure into the machine. So what that means is when it's running and I have oxygen running in here and I have ozone coming out here, if I had the ozone coming straight out here into the bag and I had that clamp closed, well, it wouldn't be able to get into the bag and it would have to turn around and go back into the machine. And that's not good to have back pressure going into the machine. So if you're, so sometimes it's better to run a unit like this where you have the, uh, the ozone destruct unit on the end. And what I can do is once I turn it on, I can just turn that to the 90 degree position and it's going to start filling up the bag. And once the bag is full, I can actually just switch that back and turn that clamp closed. And now it's going to keep pushing the ozone through into here and I can go ahead and turn the machine off and, and turn the oxygen off and I don't have to worry about any back pressure. But I'll show you the other way to do it. There is two ways to do it. So I'll just disassemble this for a moment. And there's another valve that I use right here which is very simple. It just connects to the end of the ozone output. It has a lure lock on the end right here which matches the lure lock for the bag. And then I will open up that clamp again. And I'll just turn it on and show you how we're going to get it started. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and open up that oxygen tank. I still don't have the flow on yet. I'm going to hit the start button on here and then I'm going to turn that to 1 8 flow. So I'll do that now. And I'll just let that slowly fill up the bag. If you're interested in learning more about ozone, I think one of the best sources of information is Dr. Frank Schellenberger. He's the president of the American Academy of Ozonotherapy and also the author of The Principles and Applications of Ozone Therapy, a textbook for medical professionals. His new book called The Ozone Miracle, How You Can Harness the Power of Oxygen to Keep You and Your Family Healthy, is a fantastic source of information. It pretty well goes through every ozone protocol that you would be interested in and answers pretty well every question I think that you would have on it. That book's available from Amazon.com. I'll put a link down in the description below. Once this gets to zero, it's going to automatically stop generating ozone. I'm going to turn off the flow to zero here, or to off on the oxygen tank, and I'm just going to close that clamp right there. And now the machine itself will... You'll hear the fan wind down. There we go. So everything's pretty well done. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and close the valve on the oxygen tank here. And I'll just go ahead and turn the machine off. And now I can disconnect this lure lock right here. And I can take my catheter, which is right here. Now, you might, your catheter might look a little bit different, but this catheter needs to be uh, lubricated at the end. You can lubricate it with olive oil. That's the best thing to use. And as an adult, you should put it in about four inches. That's what's recommended. So what I would do to complete this procedure is I'd connect that lure lock and I would insert that into the rectum with the lubrication on it. I would open up that valve once that is in the rectum and I would take the bag and by looking at the bag it's hard to tell that there's anything in it. But if I start rolling the bag up here you'll see that in fact there's a bunch of ozone here at the end. So what I would do is once I have that in the rectum and the valve of course is open uh, the clamp is open. I just start slowly squeezing this in so that it goes through the hose and it goes into the rectum. And I usually spend about, you know, two to three minutes in doing this, so I'm not doing it really quick. Um, and then once it's in there, I'm pretty well done. So at that point, I can just disconnect that catheter and I can wash that catheter in hydrogen peroxide and I can let it dry out and I can use that a few more times. I can also use this bag a few more times. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe. I'll put a link to Dr. Frank Schellenberger's book in the description. And I'll also put a link to Longevity Resources website, ozonegenerator.com.